Welcome to how to take the Thor hammer apart and put it back together again. It's a great little puzzle piece that we've got for the holidays and it was fascinating trying to figure out how to put it together and pull it apart. So let me show you how you do it. <laughs> the first thing is you tip it upside down and you give it a little tap until you start to see things fall apart. There you go. <laughs> now that actually gives us an indication of essentially how this thing works. But let's assume you don't have it that way, so pull it all apart. Right. Now the first thing to do is look at the pieces and figure out where the patterns are. We have a handle. We have two pieces that match for the top and bottom and sides. And we also have two little inserts that are the same. So let's put those right in the middle, like so. Let's bring them to the sides here. We also have two side pieces that are identical. We have two end pieces that are identical. You know the end pieces because they have the varnish on them. And then we have a central strut and then two inner pieces that really are the key to making this puzzle solvable and also keeping it together. So how do we start? Let's move the pieces out. Take a side note, this piece and this piece, we're gonna forget about for now, I'm gonna stick them just over there. So we start with the hammer handle and the center part. We'll take the center parts and all we're gonna do is align them together to make that shape. If you look at it, there's a top piece here and a bottom piece. Now, when we turn it over on the sides here, you can see that is actually kind of a rectangle in the middle. That's important because it helps you to know where the hammer's gonna go and the handle's gonna go. So if you take a look at this handle piece, there are these two gaps here. So we're gonna take those, we're gonna just put it in. It doesn't matter which way around you go, and you're gonna push it in and push it tight. And you, if you get it right, you should be able to hold the hammer up. Then we're gonna take this other piece and you might be wondering how that's gonna fit in there. The key to this whole thing is symmetry. So we hold it sideways like this. You can hopefully see there's a little piece in the middle here. I'd recommend doing this on a table. So if you hold your hand here, let's make sure this piece goes in there and mirrors that shape. So I'm gonna turn it this way around, put it straight in there, push it right down. And if you look into it, you'll see it's now sealed and uh, also made a solid kind of lock in there. So the whole thing is now connected. Now note, you have to hold it like this because these center pieces will fall up and down and that's crucial being able to put this back together again. So next, what we've got to do is figure out some of the innards and the, the fronts and backs. So following that pattern again, let's grab one of these side end pieces and we're gonna just follow that same pattern. So you see it in there. Oh, just while I notch that. Now if that happens, it's okay. Just you know which angle it went in, just push it straight back in. And again, you can hold it like that, which isn't a bad idea. Um, if I put it down there to make it even better. So again, I'm just following that pattern by putting this piece in on the top. Now, now what you can see is we've got a level that is all, all on the same kind of plane, which is gonna be important as we go through, we wanna maintain that clear path without any obscurities. So if you start to putting a piece and there's a bump, that's probably wrong. Okay, now what we wanna do is put in the side piece and one of the innards. Now, if you look carefully here, you can see there are, there's two, two parts. There's a small hole on the bottom and a big hole on the top. We're gonna to choose the small hole. That's important, because if you get it wrong, it won't work. Also note, if I put it sideways, we have a small hole at the top and a big hole at the bottom. So we're gonna choose this piece here, small at top, big at bottom. I'm just gonna post it in. Give it a little wiggle, and push it flat. 
Now you can turn it over. Now it's in its proper place. But you see how these two middle pieces have fallen in? That's okay, that's exactly what we want. So with your middle finger, just poke it through so it makes a bigger hole. And now I can actually stick that through to the middle, then let it drop back down. Give it a wiggle if necessary. Don't have to do much, there we go. Now there's only three pieces to go and we've got the bulk of our shape. This is important, this end. Note this shape here, that's gonna be crucial in just a moment. So we're gonna do an easy piece next. Just grab this piece, the other edge, push it in, pull it across. Okay. Now note this one extra piece, see the shape? So how are we gonna get around that? Well, we're gonna take these two remaining pieces, let's put that down there. Make sure it doesn't fall apart when I pick it up. Now, it looks like these two pieces should go together like this, or like this, to make it nice and flat, another mini hammer. It is a hammer shape, but it's not exactly that, it's actually the inverse. So this is the way you want it. Like it actually looks like a kind of a, heavier wielding hammer. Now all you do is you put those two pieces together, hold them with your thumb, and then stick them in that gap. Voila, you have now sold Thor's hammer. Hope that was helpful, have fun.